everybody, it's Julie, and I'm here with today's mini challenge in the challenge. And we are going to be using items from our stash, or you, <laughs> we're going to use napkins, okay? If you don't have a napkin, uh, at least try this with a regular, like, napkin. Um, but you can do the project with a magazine page, okay? Um, you'll have to decoupage it probably instead of um, doing it like we're doing here. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my ply off of the napkin. And you can see I have penguin. Or penguin. I don't have, pe I have penguins on the brain. I have peacock <laughs> napkins. And I am going to go ahead and carefully cut this. The fold is not, I won't get their little crown if I go down the fold. So I'm going to, you know, you want to check that out. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it like that. And then I have this one. So, um, I also have this one that I'll be doing. Okay, so I took the ply off. So you gotta take any back pieces off. You wanna make sure that there is, that there is no other pieces, that you're just the one ply. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I want to back a note paper. Okay, and so I was like, well, a six part napkin would be perfect for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my napkin. And I think we'll use this center one. So just cutting up along the edge there. Then I want to figure out, because I'm going to be cutting some of this off. So if I place my peacock, and it has a flaw down here. That's probably why it was at Tuesday morning. Okay, so I'm going to put it down. And so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm using this mint colored paper because uh, as my backing because I don't want to waste my white because I use my white pieces. Oh, look at I, <laughs> I don't need as big of a piece. <laughs> Go ahead and cut it, especially if your little cutter isn't working. Mine is, but my brain is not. I actually have to go to town. I am out of Mod Podge. So we're going to cling wrap. <laughs> I have to go get Mod Podge. Okay. So I use a lot of it on my new Dear Julie Julie DIY channel. Lots, lots of Mod Podge on that channel. So here we're going to go ahead and put my, my peacock down there. And my iron is heating up. And so I'm going to go ahead and place my paper down. I have my iron set so it does not steam. But it's on a cotton setting. And I'm just going to go ahead and go back and forth. And the clean wrap will actually shrink. And it will attach itself to the napkin and the paper. There we go. Make sure we're going all the way to the top of that napkin. Okay, and it did start to scorch. Okay, so you pull it away. <laughs> and these, these two stuck together a little bit. But there is my napkin adhered very nicely 
to my note paper. Now it's not super thick, but it has an amazing linen texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and set that aside. So this is gonna be one of my elements for the mini challenge. So you are going to make, you're gonna decorate a note paper with a napkin. Okay, now you can go ahead and decorate it on the front. Um, you can use Mod Podge instead of the iron. There you go, okay. So there gives me a beautiful, it's still very lightweight, but isn't that pretty? And won't that be beautiful in my Peacock Journal? So that is attaching it to, um, to that. So next I have these, um, these outside order pages that my mom had. And so I have two of these. I just have, this is all of this napkin that I have left. I've put this napkin in the kits, and so, okay. I'm gonna go ahead, I wanna use this again, and I am going to cut my paper so my paper is ready. Okay, so you are gonna use a junk Paper. Now you might have, um, you know, some some other kind of paper that you have hanging around that um, you. What am I doing? That you want to use. I'm gonna want it. I like lists. You all know I like lists, so I'm gonna put this one on the side with the list. And I am gonna put this other paper underneath here so that I can catch that, that strip. Because, you know, I don't like to waste anything. Now, it might not work, but um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold this page in half. And we need to grab some cling wrap. So I have my cling wrap. Clings tight says shopper's value. I don't remember where I got it. You guys, I don't use cling wrap very often. I mean, like after parties and people are taking stuff food home, that's about the extent of the cling wrap usage in my home. So, Um, and now I'm using it for this and we are going, we are using it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pull this over. I'm gonna go ahead and put this other flat piece that we used earlier. I'm gonna put it under just so that if, if any of that goes, okay, so we're gonna line this up, try and get as many of the wrinkles out just because that gives a place for um, for it to to be compromised. Okay, then I'm going to put down my napkin and remember I want I want the list. So I'm coming in just a little bit. Then I'm putting down this paper, most importantly over the napkin. Okay, and here we go. Now remember, I have double paper this time, so it has to go through two layers of copy paper. Now you can see the, the shrink wrap shrink a little over on this edge. You might be able to see that. I can see it. Okay. So let's see, we can go over here. Again, remembering that I have two layers of paper this time. 
And this is just, I mean, the whole idea is using up my stash. And I have these papers that were left from in my mom's stuff. And they have lines on them. And lines make excellent journal cards. So here, let's go in from this side. It's hot. Okay. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Unless there was, yeah, there was stuff from before. Okay, so now we, you want to check the edges. The edges look really good. And I'm going to just cut this piece off. You'll see I'll have an edge that I can use in the journal for an embellishment or as even like a small belly band or something. So I have that. And we'll have this journaling card. Just cut the edges off and it'll be ready for me to, to turn it into something. Okay, beautiful linen. Oh my gosh, feels amazing. Like that, that feeling of the, would look, the feeling of the napkin and the shrink wrap, that would feel amazing on a cover. So I have also, this paper here okay and but it has this uh wording about the garden or the flowers down there and you know i know that i want to make a flower and garden journal well i have some packaging from dollar tree so you know what maybe we should use this for <laughs> for our under piece right okay so here we have this paper we have this peacock so the sides are the choices are the green or this this um, this color here and I can put two of the peacocks on this page that will be wonderful so we're gonna need our clean wrap and again uh, you can use, you can be decoupaging this, but, you know, just to give you some ideas that you don't have to, um, to do your whole napkin to start off with because the, these napkins, if you're using the whole napkin, you might not have a paper big enough to go over the top. I read, somebody commented that you can use parchment paper. You guys, I haven't used parchment paper, um, in a long time. I don't, I, I have some somewhere in the craft room. I don't use it, haven't used it in the kitchen in a while. I don't, I don't do a lot of baking. I'm not a big fan of baking. Um, okay, so ex-husband was a baker. I just don't bake. <laughs> yeah, so there. That's, I don't know if that's why. I'd rather craft. And there we go. But I can, and I can decorate cakes too. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So I have there, I was working on their crowns. I'm a little concerned. We're going to pull this up a little bit. I should pull the whole thing. trying to get it more so that the cling wrap will end up on the the backing paper instead of on my my very special tabletop here my very special tabletop is my ironing board my ironing board has made it so that I can craft a lot longer periods of time um, there we go it, regular tabletop size really hurts my back so there we go so we're gonna just go ahead and I don't know if you can see that but that 
cling wrap over here on the side. It just, it was shrinking. You can watch it over here. If you've ever watched a shrinky dink, that's what it reminds me of. Kind of just sh shrivels a little. Come this way so that we can. Oh. This is my craft iron, you guys. Um, I think I told you in a previous video that I I accidentally ironed shirt. I didn't know that it was. Anyway, this, whatever it was made out of, it stuck to my iron. So that became my craft iron. And here we have it. So if you don't have a craft iron, you will want to be really careful. You might want to use two papers and extra big papers. There we go. Okay. So, and it's hot. Okay. Yep, feels like we got this edge. Okay. So rather than taking and then attaching this and having that extra step of attaching your napkin to your backing, I went ahead and I attached my napkin right onto my paper. So if you, and this is the paper stack that I've decided to use in this journal. And, um, but if, you know, if your paper stack has white paper on one side, oh my gosh, you could totally, totally do that. Okay, so we have over here on this side, it did not, did not stick. So come back and give it a, give it a whirl. So I'm very happy with the way that this technique is try turning out. I want to thank those of you that have suggested it for a long time that I try it. And um, yeah, I'm, I love the way the napkins on the, um, the cling wrap. I love, I love the feel. It, it feels like linen. So if you are tactile and you like things that feel different, you like the different noises and the different feelings in a journal, or, or even just when you're making them, um, I highly, highly recommend this, um, this technique. Okay, so I'm just cleaning up the edges. This actually could even go into the journal as two pages. We'll have to see because I've already kind of figured out the pages, but it is ready and oh my gosh, it feels amazing. It feels absolutely amazing. So I wonder what it would look like to have it be a small pocket page. I mean, we lose some of the tail, but we get tail on that side. I will see, see what I do with the, in the craft room with it. So, um, so that gives us another one. So we have attached napkin onto cardstock or scrapbook paper. We attached it to my mom's. We did one onto a note paper. So you're going to do a note paper with a napkin. You're going to do some scrap paper with a napkin, however you want. If you have beautiful scrapbook paper and you want to just cut your, you know, or rip your ping, your penguin. I have penguin on the brain. Peacock out and put just that on that's something that you can do okay and you can do it with mod podge that's probably going to work better for that for doing it that way okay so that gives us three and i have also tissue paper okay so we're going to do the same thing but this time we're going to do tissue paper and um, so I have another one of these note cards and and you could also do it on this side and you'd get that in the background of it. But I'm gonna do the back. I'm gonna add my cling wrap. 
Okay, so when you're done, you, your cue should have six embellishments. And they can be in the stage that all you've put done is got your, um, your napkin on them for this challenge. Or you can have finished your um, embellishment for your final picture that you put in the March, sorry, Spring Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge. That's where you um, add your finished items. Okay, so let's see here. We'll just move this down, okay? We'll use the same one, but we'll move it down. And there we go. So I think that that looks pretty good. And we'll need a cover. There we go. So this is putting tissue paper on. So now, um, you know, if you have tissue paper in your stash, this is going to be a great way to use tissue paper. Of course, you can also use tissue paper just putting it in your journals. And um, Mod Podge is a great way to use tissue. Let's see if I did that long enough. Uh, it's hot, I can tell you that. Go ahead, pull it up. There we go. Oh, look, it moved. Oh, well. It moved, but that's okay. I can still use it. But let's make sure that it all got down on all the edges of the note paper that, that did get it. Okay. So here we have, this will be our backing, and gives you another texture. It's different than the texture that you get from the napkin. So again, I want you to do three tissue paper elements and three um, napkin elements. So now the really cool thing here is this print doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it, um, it's not going to look bad if we cut it. Let's see, we've got up to here so we can go right across there and I have, and this gives you another texture in your journal okay so um and remember your your mini challenge in the challenge your it does not have to go in your march journal this can you can be making things from during the challenge that are going to be um going that you're going to use in other places so for this one I am going to make sure that I am going to go ahead and do a page okay my my papers are all already cut so um, so I'll be putting that down putting the cling wrap so we have my the paper the page that I'm going to use we have the cling wrap so if you're trying to use things that you have around your house and no spending this might be a way to do that okay so looks like I can go all the way around up here just fine so we'll put 
this really nice straight one up there and then this one we'll put down here and then we're going to use the mint as a top because we're bigger than the we're big okay here we go ironing tissue paper onto copy paper Yeah, somebody gave me a whole ream of this mint colored paper. And I am using it in journals and things, but it's a, that's a lot of paper. And, you know, color specific. Okay. So, go ahead and make sure that we've got our paper is down. And we'll lift it. Oh, check it out. It just, it, it undid the tissue right on there. So here we have, and again, you'll want to trim it up and get it ready to be able to use it in your project. Now, you could go ahead and make envelopes out of these as well. So the thing I want you to do, I want you to back note paper and tissue paper to a note to a note paper so you're going to do this there it is okay so you're going to mat put napkin on a note paper you're either going to do it like this technique or mod podge or you can just you know glue it however you want to do it let us know what you think, how it worked, and that will give you that. And then you are going to do the same thing. You're going to attach a napkin to a scrap piece of paper. So a scrap piece of paper that, um, you know, it has lines or something wonderful on one side, and now you'll have the peacock on the other side or whatever your napkin has. Then you're going to make a page, one out of your, your napkins and one out of your tissue paper, however you want to do that. But we want to see a napkin page for your journal and a um, scrapbook page for your journal. So I'm going to leave this because I can go up, I might be able to you know, put a strip of something here and have a full page. This, of course, I'm going to want to fold this way so that will give me a folded page. And then this one may be a flip. A flip and a fold. So that gives me that kind of a page. And then this is, I'm gonna go ahead and fold it So that gives me that. So note paper, pages, and a um, scrap piece of paper. Okay? So six embellishments that or pages that are ready for your journal. And then your deadline is March 20th. March 20th, 2020, and you will have, well, you'll have six. I only have five so far, but I'm not going to waste your time as I, to do another, another one of these. Um, you can use six different napkin or three different napkins, three different tissue papers, however you want to do it. I'm looking forward to seeing what you make. Find something to celebrate every day. Make sure you post your finished Pieces for the challenge in the March Spring Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge. And 
um, you can join us. The details will be, the details video will be in the description box down below. Have an amazing day. Bye. Bye-bye.